time now for a check on the weather with Mike Everett. So, Mike, uh, it's going to be typically rainy, I guess, this Saturday. But that means snow, right, in the mountains, in the passes? You know what? So we're seeing something kind of interesting today in the sense that the snow levels are rising slightly. Mm -hmm. I know that makes a lot of people nervous after what we experienced in November. No need to be. We've got a frontal boundary passing through. So those snow levels will drop nicely overnight and really pack a lot of snow up into the resort level. And that's what Great. we've been looking for. So it's good news and not so good news if yeah. you're in the lower elevation. It's going to rain quite a okay. bit today, but tracking and expecting some clearing on Sunday. I put together a whole presentation. I'll tell you all about it. What I want to tell you about is this. We are now just three days away from the official start of winter. You wouldn't know it to look outside, though. It is cool out there. On that particular day, the sun will rise at 755. It will set at 420. And then the great news, days will start to become incrementally longer after that. So what to expect for the final days of fall? Rainy, snowy, and blowy today. Cool clearing on Sunday. Yeah, we may actually see some sun breaks there. And then a new system moves in on Monday that's going to put more precipitation into the mountains. So pretty easy to break it down today. There's Washington State, the Pacific Northwest. We've got a pretty solid plume of moisture directed right at us with some very cold air behind it. You see those blues? That's cold, dry air coming straight in from Alaska. Now the low will sit off the coast for a couple days and that's what's going to spin up that second system on Monday. But right here, this is that clearing that I'm expecting on Sunday. So again, we might get the opportunity to see some sunshine tomorrow. We're just going to have to work at it first. So a couple things in place here. Wind advisory will be in place until noon today along the coast. Obviously, we'll see winds getting up to about 40 miles an hour. But where that ugly yellow mustard color is up towards the north sound there. We could see winds gusting up to about 50 and even 60 miles an hour today. Obviously, that's going to keep things really active along the water there. Don't take the small craft out today. And we've got winter storm warnings in effect for all of our mountains until 4 a.m. tomorrow. So we've got rain pushing in here in the lower elevations. In fact, let's zoom in and take a look at a couple of spots right near Issaquah and Snoqualmie Pass. We've got that rain that's converting right around the three, 4,000 foot mark. So you're seeing that pink. That's that fancy way of saying rain snow mix. It's going to make the road slushy up towards Snoqualmie Pass. And we've got some heavier rain pushing in in Paulsbo right now. And we've got some steady rain across most of the Puget Sound region. Seattle's had pretty steady rain coming down all night long. Take a look outside right now. We've still got some steady rain coming in. Temperatures in the upper 30s right now. Some folks breaking into the mid 40s for 45 in Tacoma, 50 in Puyallup. Well played. 50 out towards Forks and out towards Hoquiam. So we've got some winds that are doing a little bit of everything right now. We'll be very gusty through most of the morning, especially up towards the North Sound there. But watch what happens as the frontal boundary pushes through. We'll start to see some of that northerly flow and some calming. So as we go through the day today, again, rain will be fairly steady, but look at what becomes behind it right during the dinner hour tonight. I'm expecting that frontal boundary to move through. We'll have a convergence zone that'll keep things going between Seattle and Everett. But then as we go towards Sunday, expecting some clearing. So we'll get some decent moisture out of this. And more importantly, it looks like we're going to get some decent snow in the mountains. By the time we're done here and we get towards Monday, we could be talking well over a foot, arriving at a foot and a half at some of our resorts. Seven day forecast shows us relatively warm today in the upper 40s. Once that frontal boundary moves through, we will be cooling on Sunday, but we may also see some sun. Another system moves through on Monday and into Tuesday, and it looks like we're going to stay in the same zone all week long.